Sure, why not? That's my response to a great friend, Andrew Moss, who had this request on a video I made called Looking Both Better and Worse, Growing Out Zero Guard Buzz Cut. Here's what he said, quote, please do a video on what point does a person's worry about hair loss officially become a case of, and I'm gonna mispronounce the word here, despite my English degree, because that's, it's not required to get an English degree to know how to pronounce this word. Phallicrophobia. That's right, there's a recognized phobia related to the fear of becoming bald. I think a lot of balding men have it, including myself. Check this link for more details. And if you wanna check that link, just go to the video looking both better and worse, growing out zero guard buzz cut. That's where the link is. Okay, so let's talk about this. I wanna, I wanna look at this language and get it right. It says it's a recognized phobia relating to the fear of becoming bald. So what point does, you know, noticing, hey, my hairline's going back, hey, I think I'm starting to thin, noticing that, acknowledging it, at what point does that become a, a recognized phobia, a fear of hair loss? You know, I, I, what I would, my immediate thought is, yes, I definitely believe that a lot of people who subscribe to my channel fall in that category. And I, I, I feel, for me, a recent development in that whole concept was, you know, it started out as people saying, no one's going to marry me if I don't have hair. No one's going to want to have a family with me if I don't have hair. And like, I can understand where they were coming from, why they would feel that way if you're 20 and balding. And you know, I, I can understand that. There's some logic there that I can at least follow, even if I don't agree with it. But then some of those people and then other people were brutally honest, and I appreciate that. People started saying that they don't even wanna die being bald. Like they wanna die still having hair. And it reminds me of that scene, let me think. Matchstick Man with Nick Cage. I, I've watched it several times. I like the movie. It's a guy who has OCD and he keeps his house really clean and he talks about the concept of if he were to ever commit suicide, he, he would be too bothered by the fact that he'd leave blood stains on the carpet. It's kind of like that to me. It's like, why would you care if you have a full head of hair when you're so old? to that point, I mean, to naturally die of old age, let's say you're in your late 80s, and you're still worried that you're gonna lose your hair. Okay, so to me, that would qualify. But I think definitely there would be a spectrum here. And if, if you're asking for my opinion, which you clearly are, and I'm not saying this is the right answer, this is just my opinion, what would, what would it take to qualify uh, for phala, Crophobia, if I'm, again, mispronouncing it, phallocrophobia. What would it take to, to fall into that category where that's you? I would say if it, if it prevents you from living your life in any way, then I think there's a good chance that this relates to you. See, it's one thing to watch my videos and for us to have these discussions and, you know, it's like a support group of type, you know, that's, that's good. But as far as it preventing you from actually living your life, see, that to me is the irony. It's the lack of logic where the fear of what might happen if I go bald, you actually create the problem yourself by worrying about it. So for me, anything that would fall into that category would be the situation. Anything that keeps you from living your life because of that fear. And I mean, that's how I feel about life in general, how it works that Anytime your life is dictated by fear of any kind, then you're already, the fear is more powerful in your life than your own decision-making process. So I think this is a, a great question. I think there's a lot more that we could go with this if we wanted to talk more about this. But I guess I would turn the, you know, the, the mic to you at this point and say, you know, how do you feel about what I just said? I would, I would say that anything that would prevent you from actually living your life. Like, I, I can't go in public. I can't talk to people. I can't try to be in the dating world. I can't ask for a raise. I can't, I can't do anything, whatever the thing is, because I'm balding or because I might go bald. I think if, if you're basing your life around that, then I'd say, yeah, I'll say that you've got this 
phallocrobia phobia, whatever it is. But that's just my opinion. And my opinion is only true if that's you agree with it in your own mind. If you don't agree with what I said in your own mind, then, then what I said is an outright lie. So, leave the truth instead right here.